Hey everybody, here we go with some sun and moon, and uh, as says, I accidentally misclicked that land, but it turns out when you play a turn one Chalice of the Void for one, a lot of decks can't do very much. So we're going to do that. <laughs> I This is not the land I wanted to play, but whatever, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Maybe it is the land I wanted to play. That's <laughs> this card is so stupid. Just the point is so dumb. Actually, let's be honest. It's Simeon Spirit Guide that's dumb. This card is so busted. I love I this card is gonna get banned at some point. Lotus petals are not fair, especially when they're two twos to beat down. I like that ad nauseum exists because the way it interacts with Simeon Spirit Guide. I think it's fair in that deck, but it's so stupid to just play Turn One Chalice of Void and win because of it. But you know what? I have no idea what our opponent is playing, so I'm not changing anything. And that's why he scooped, I imagine. You know, if I really, really wanted to go deep, I could say, well, what deck scoops through turn one chalice and sideboard against that? You know, I, in fact, for instance, is something that uh, very easily could, could scoop to it. Um, Boggles wouldn't be able to beat it. And maybe, you know, maybe I'm supposed to sideboard into Blessed Alliance or something to sort of next level. And maybe if I were to GP, I were, but... In this situation, we're just going to go ahead and roll out with our deck again. That's pretty dumb. I don't know. It's it's possible people just rage scoop against turn one chalice, but it's more likely it actually just turned off his hand. You know, it's one thing when you just like, oh, the obs on deck can't thought seize or, you know, the um, like the whatever mid range deck can't lightning bolt you, but it's entirely another when the infect deck can't play their one drops and they have four one drops in their six card hand or um, Boggles can't play their Boggle and therefore can't win the game. Um, Elves has four, you know, all these things that just blows out. Like, card's silly. Oh, we're going to follow it up with a turn two Blood Moon. Simeon Spirit Guide is not fair. Alright, I won't, I won't sing anymore. That's not helping anybody. Nobody wants that, I know. Who play? Oh, he's Delver, huh? Okay. Well, I do suspect that turn one Blood Moon will be good. Or turn, I wish it was turn one Blood Moon. Turn two Blood Moon here. Um, the problem, of course, I'm putting which is mana leak it. Alright, one time, no blind flip. One time, no blind flip. Oh, come on. Never lucky. Never lucky. <laughs> we actually don't have the mana for this. Might be one of those really awkward games where um, Blood Moon hurts you more than it does them. Because we only have one white source. Doesn't matter, I'm still going to do it. Or am I? Maybe I don't. There, we get a turn right here to play something through removal. You know what? I'm not going to do it, because as much as I want to, we actually are just going to die to the Delver, even if he can't cast spells. And because he can fetch a basic, he can. So by actually playing the spells guy instead, we may uh, trap him into searching for a non-basic. And, you know, hope, I, we're going to have to find a way to kill the Delver. We're not able to win, so... Or the insectile aberration, as it were. Looks like he's seen through the ruse anyways. Well, we'll see how this goes. So, I mean, yeah, I do want Blessed Alliance. I guess could have boarded that in in the dark. Alright, well, I'm going to continue to get beat down by a Delver. I can play Wrath next turn. Seems like not a thing I want to do. I assume he's Grixis. Yeah, I see Pluto Deltas. He is, okay. Um, so if he could play, you know, he could play Tassiger or whatever. I'm more worried about Counterspells than anything else. Oh, there's our planes. Oh, in that case, may as well go for it. It's no downside. If he burns a counterspell on this, he's not using that counter on our Wrath of God. 
and as awkward as it is to play Wrath of God on top of our spell skite, felt like we needed to do it. And there's no guarantee Wrath's going to resolve anyways. If I were him, you just fetch out an island and you just let Blood Moon resolve. No, he's not going to. I mean, I guess he needs black mana and he wasn't fetching that, so... Sure. Gladly. Well, I would have just turboed out the Blood Moon last turn if I had known what was if he you know what was gonna happen here if I know we were just rip a basic planes. But this is fine too. If, if the best he can do in response is a Colgon's command, that's not so bad. Now we really need this Wrath of God to resolve even it's gonna be a one for one. Um, but that's basically what this game comes down to now that the Blood Moon's landed and we lock him out of a bunch of cards. So he would have had a draw a counter spell. Unless he just went really deep and said he's only gonna counter things that target the Delver, but Well, let's see. At least we can beat a force spike. Okay. Obviously, it feels bad to one for one, but we have to sim the bleeding here. You know, we've we're on what is that five, six, seven, eight lands and four spells. So, oh, we're being bolted. Oh God, we're being snapcaster bolted. Oh, we did. Oh, we're down to down to three. Bolt, snap, bolt, pretty good. Let's see if he kills us. I bet we're dead. Need to rip lightning helix. Or, or he just has another lightning bolt and we're actually dead. Yeah, skill intensive, okay. Yeah, let's see. Don't want this. I do want most of these. In fact, I want pretty much all of these. That is the problem here. Uh, we can cut a Wrath. Well, maybe we can't. Maybe Wrath is secretly oops, secretly a little better than Anger because of just the, uh, the need to kill a Tassiger if it arrives and having very few ways to do that. question is, do we want to go deep on the Ley Lines? Um, you know, it stops us from getting bolted. It protects our planeswalkers. I don't know if he's running discards. Stops us from getting Colgon's commanded. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think we don't actually need to symbol the Legion. I think this is. I love the card, but in this matchup, I just don't see it being the major deciding factor. Maybe we can cut an anger here. Another because we we actually do have the banishing lights to deal with Tassiger. Uh, still need to make some cuts, huh? And we have the journey as well. We actually have enough of Tassiger protection, plus our planeswalkers can kill it. So I think maybe we just don't need any. Well, we definitely need some of them. We shouldn't ever just die to a. Shouldn't never just die to a Delver though. I mean, we have so many spells to deal with it. We'll run two ley lines because it's not like burn where you just absolutely want one immediately. It's a little more open ended as to you know how good it is here. We got a Blood Moon. Because he can play around Blood Moon pretty decently. This is weird. I'm not sure if this is the optimal sideboarding. You go real deep, play Rest in Peace. Don't think we need to do that. It's a mulligan. We have to keep this. We have two Scries. Yeah, there goes one of them. Mulligan into five just feels so risky. No, it's the wrong land. I wanted to play the temple. Why do they look so alike? Oh, let's see if it matters. We'll just draw a business spell and then it won't have mattered. One time no Dover. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Not a Dover. A little bit of a whammy, but not a Dover. Chalice of the Void off the top, please. Well, we missed the scry here, so we get punished if we draw a land. 
I think the keep on six was fine though, because you have two scries between the temple um, and that, and you get to cast spells, right? So it's bad, and if you draw all lands, you can lose. See, look, we would have kept that no matter what. I guess so. I guess so. I'm going to... I think we're going to play this game where... So he didn't have a turn on Delver. Hopefully he, like, plays a threat, we kill it. Plays another threat, we kill it. So on. We'll see. Um, but yeah, six... Uh, I like, you know, five lands, Planeswalker is obviously not ideal. Um, but between the two scries, like, you have to have a pretty unlucky top set of cards. And Molini into five, you just can hit, you know, you can have one land, you can have no lands, you can whatever, and you're just dead, right? And you're probably keeping four lands, one spell at that point anyways. So, you know, may as well take what we had. The fact that we're just, like, full up on Planeswalkers here is not great, but... It only matters if we countered. All right, fetch out our planes here in case we draw Blood Moon. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, we can't play around Mana Leak, so I think we just play Chandra. If it gets countered, it gets countered, but then he'll attack with this, and we can try to Gideon it or Nahiri it or whatever. Um, and if it resolves, we just get to shoot it. So we'll see if he has a remand. He's tanking, so he probably does. Then even if he did, he probably just snapped it off, but the fact he did an F6. Yep. Oh, disdainful stroke. Interesting. That's why you're thinking about it. That's fine. Let's see. No whammies. No blind flip. Okay. Two two for two on blind flips with Delver. Feels bad, man. All right. Let's see what he plays here. Hope he doesn't have another counter spell. We can play Gideon. Kill it. Gideon would be on four counters, which is out of bolt range. At this point, we can play around Mana Leak, though, by just playing land and helixing it. That's the decision we have. I sort of like being mana efficient and just going for it. You know, the game's not over even if it gets countered. Counter score. Well, I would have got our Lightning Helix anyways. Well, he may just have played... He may just have this. He may just blind flip Delver and ride Delver to a win sort of plan. I mean, we can try to Nahiri plus Lightning Helix next turn. If you blind flip Delver is at a high rate, you should always play Delver Modern. Otherwise, you should never play Delver Modern. All right, well, there's a lot of options here. I think that I'm going to play Chalice for one. If it resolves, I'm going to shock myself. Try for the Nahiri. Puts us in nine. This puts us at six, but if this resolves, we can't be bolted. It's also a pause. He's just like, oh, he just if he just... Runs out lightning bolts in response to this. Then we play Nahiri Exile. I don't know. It didn't happen. But I think we got to go for this. If it doesn't work, we still have lightning helix to try to kill it next turn and get some life back and hope we top deck better. Our opponent would seem to just have the nuts, though. Seven, five, down to two. Yeah, might just be dead. Oh my gosh. You know, in many ways, we've actually just saved the saved the right spell for last. I mean, this is the one that gains us life. None of these would have gained us life. Our opponent just had the actual, actual nuts, though. Well, I guess it's... Not quite true. Turn one Delver blind flip would have been the nuts. Is that as a turn two Delver blind flip? And right, see if we can draw something here. Wow. 
Okay. I don't think there was literally any sequence of cards I would have won a set game. So <laughs> that's that's magic. It was a very nice draw to Grixis Delver. Good game.